got a 2014 4270 olive belt trailer got your landing gear full speed landing gear adjustments on the chain research speed landing gear chain is old flaps look good that looks pretty good sheeting's in good condition walk back up here a little bit the trailer it is an electric valve you have a remote just like this one here turn the lights on I need to have the lights on for it to work but you can also run it manually you have the knife gate come over here make sure your knife gate cleared you can look through there or you can just come all the way over here pins are clear now you're ready to go up with your big door. Once you go up with your big door, it's kind of what it'll look like. Opened up. Now you're ready to unload. Once you get done unloading, right here's where you, well, this is where you start your chain one handle start your chain cut a chain speed all the way on 10 you can slow it down or start it once you start it about what it looks like when it runs you have a ladder here in case you need to get in the back of the ladder you can use that to climb in there pretty simple deal Once you're done unloading, come here, stop your chain, turn your flow meter off, big door down, which is the main gate, little door. Then you just close this here. This is how the once you have your remote going, you can run this whole trailer with one remote. Knife gate up. Main gate up. The only thing is, we turned our flow meter off and we do that for safety reasons. Um, if you're gonna have the remote, you can leave it on. Alan, flow meter on. Set the phone meter on six. You can turn your chain on here. When, when you do have your, when you are using your remote, you can leave your chain setting on on six or seven. It's probably a safe safe spot. Okay, now our belt's running. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. Say you're done unloading, shut your belts off. Door down, knife gate down. And you're ready to go. Get off on the remote. Once that light is not blinking no more, your remote is off. Um, trailer's lined with black liner. It's got a regular roll tarp on it. Extensions all look good. There's no dents in the sheeting. Here's the tires on the passenger side. Front axle on the passenger side. Let's see if I can get you a shot of the brakes. Brakes look good. This 
trailer's in really good condition. None of the sheeting has damage. We'll walk around the front here. Here you've got a two hoses that connect into a PTO weight kit. Pretty simple deal. Same research on this side. Other than that, that's what it is, a 2014 olive belt trainer.